as the nights are drawing in, I've been starting to make a lot more uh, quads for people that include a lot of LED lights for night flying. And this is actually a 330 class quad, one of the very first I ever built. That's been through several iterations. And I thought as I was practicing uh, some of the more uh, sophisticated light rigs, this would be a great model to try it on. Unfortunately, at the time, didn't have a flight controller, but I had a KK 2.0 in the spares box. So I thought I'd throw that on here, wire it all together and make myself a little night flyer as well, because I'm a bit jealous of all these lovely quads that are going out the door that um, are better than ones that I have. So this is it. And I just want to show you something, because when I powered it up, it started to make a horrendous noise and it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what was going on. So let me power this up and you'll hear the noise. So there it is, you've got that wonderful noise. And even when I arm it, it starts until I try and run them. Even if I run the motors, it doesn't make any difference. Let me just turn that off because it's annoying. <clears throat> now, what's actually causing that is the low voltage alarm. And you can uh, watch this video here on how you set the uh, low voltage bits and pieces up on a KK 2.0 where you uh, solder in a small pin. And on here, I've done the same thing. And now if I put on the pin that I realized that I'd forgot. It's amazing what you forget when you don't use these boards very often. Put the buzzer back on. There we go. Now, if I turn it back on, the KK 2.0 can actually see the battery voltage via that cable that I've just plugged in. And the noise that we were hearing before, that incessant beeping, was actually exactly what it was supposed to do. That incessant beeping is actually the low voltage alarm. So let me just show you where you set that up in the KK itself. And uh, if you're having this problem and you're getting beeping, it's going like crazy, you have two options. One is follow the video and install a small pin and a quick cable to the 12 volt or the battery supply so they can hear it, or the second is to turn it off. So let me just zoom in a little bit so the, the lights aren't overwhelming the, um, the camera, and I'll show you where it is in the menu. So here we are zoomed in onto the KK 2.0 uh, on the machine, and the way you set up the voltage alarm or you disable it is you go into menu, go down to miscellaneous settings, and then on here there is the alarm in one tenth of a volt. And if you hit enter, it allows you to change the amount up and down. That's changing it by a tenth of a volt because that's actually 10.5 volts, 10.6. Or if you press and hold the button, it actually starts to go up in big increments. I have mine set for about 10 and a half. Now, if you take it all the way down to zero, that disables the voltage alarm. So if you're not going to um, install this extra little cable up here on the right hand side to do your voltage alarm, if you come down here, if that noise has been made by your board, set that alarm one tenth volts to zero and it's disabled. So hopefully that helps some of you that are playing with the KK 2.0 like me that haven't done it for a little while and are uh, surprised when it starts screeching at you when you power it up. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.